welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca and I am currently planning my wedding. That is really a lot of what my channel focuses on is my wedding planning process and day-to-day -day life, but I also like to put in a lot of uh, natural wellness and beauty and cooking and stuff like that into my channel and on my blog. So today's video is actually going to be a DIY mermaid spray to get your hair healthy and long, especially right now in the summer season. Now you can also check out my blog post, which will be linked right down below. It'll have all of the like measurements and exact things down there as well to make it super easy for y'all, but let's get right on into it. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna need is a spray bottle. I obviously am reusing a spray bottle that I previously had like leave-in conditioner in. Um, glass spray bottles are best with what we're working with, but I'm using a plastic one because I don't necessarily follow the rules all the time. So I'm just reusing an old spray bottle that I cleaned out and got clean again, but you need a spray bottle. After that, you are going to need some witch hazel. This is the Thayer's witch hazel. I grabbed it like super cheap at like TJ Maxx or something, but you can also grab it at um, like Walmart and Target, I'm pretty sure. Um, honestly, I don't think there's a specific um, kind of witch hazel that is best or anything like that. This one does have some aloe vera, which I like. So this is the one that I grabbed. All right, and then we have three essential oils that we're gonna be using. Each of these are really good for both your skin health and your hair health. So you are gonna use a lavender, which is right here. Um, just so you know, I use Young Living Essential Oils. I am a distributor, so if anyone out there wants to join my team through the summer, I am sending you a free Lime Vitality as well as a Rollerball blend when you sign up and join my team. Um, I kind of change with the season which oil I send you, but right now it is Lime Vitality. But yeah, I'll have information on that down below if anyone's interested in more information or signing up and being on a really awesome team. But anyways, you use your lavender. We use all of them in equal parts as well, which I will get into as we go into the DIY part. You're going to be using cedar wood, which I love cedar wood, ironically. It's amazing for sleep and so is lavender. So these are already like amazing oils for other things, but they promote skin health and they also promote hair growth and healthy hair growth. The last one you want is probably my favorite of these and that is rosemary. We've got a little visitor for this. Hi. Hello. He literally sees like a dragonfly outside the window. <laughs> um, but anyways, those are the three oils that you need for this DIY. I will get into it with the amounts and stuff like that in just a second here. But rosemary definitely is my favorite out of those. Rosemary is amazing for healthy hair growth. I actually add it to my shampoo as well. So if you get a Young Living Essential Oil and you grab rosemary, you can totally add it to your shampoo as well. And it'll also help with your hair growth um, and with just a healthy scalp and stuff like that. It can help with dandruff, which is amazing. But we are gonna go on and get into the mermaid spray. All right, so as y'all can see, I have a spray bottle. This is a different one than I just showed because I'm actually gonna make one of these for my mom. But I just re-rinsed it out again, but I did completely clean it out before because there used to be a different product inside of here. But anyways, you are gonna use the Witch Hazel. And you wanna put about two ounces. That is what I do with the amount of oil that I put in it, is I put two ounces. But you can always double the recipe if you want to fill up your bottle all the way. Um, but also check my blog post down below. It'll have more information on all of this fun stuff. So I'm totally eyeing it though. I'm just guessing that this is probably like two ounces about here. And you can add a little bit of water if you want. For sure, I actually think I'm going to. Alright, so I added just a little splash of water into it just because I felt like doing that. Um, but here are our oils right here and we are going to put them into here. Alright, so I grabbed cedar wood first and you're going to watch. I'm basically just going to put 15 drops of cedar wood into here. And then I'm going to do the exact same with my lavender and my rosemary. This is the end of this lavender, that's why I'm dumping it in there rather than measuring it out because I'm actually 
out of this one. I love my lavender. I have a new one coming in though, so it is all good. And then the rosemary. Then we're gonna put the top back on here and shake it up. And we're ready to use our mermaid spray. All right, y'all, so now we are done. I shook this up and just with a little bit of water, some witch hazel and my three essential oils, we have our mermaid spray. Literally all you have to do is spray it on your hair. Mainly use it totally on your scalp though. It won't leave your hair oily, which is amazing. I'm on like third day hair and I can still use this and the oils aren't gonna make me oily. They just help my hair grow. As you can tell, I have like insanely long hair and it actually is color treated in the past, yet it still is super long. And this stuff is amazing. And just like that, we are done. It totally like lifts your hair, gives you some volume while also nourishing your scalp and your hair so you can have some healthy natural hair growth that's gonna be healthy and super long. I swear, so many people swear by this stuff and I think it is fabulous. If you can grow your hair nice and long and healthy, go for it. And this is so cheap, easy, DIY, and it's also chemical free. You're not putting anything bad going into your skin on your head. It's all natural essential oils and it's totally fine to be on your body rather than putting chemicals there. Because if you go to the store, most of those items are going to be filled with gross chemicals that you don't actually want on your body, much less going into your pores and stuff. But anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little DIY. You can check it out down below as well if you want the recipe and all of that stuff. But I will see you guys in my next video.